Hey, greetings clock collectors and fine arts enthusiasts. Hey, you know, since I started my series, Just an Old Guy Keeping Busy on YouTube channel, I've been getting a lot of requests. And uh, I took them all in consideration and I decided to keep making these videos anyway. So I want to show you a little short uh, video today, kind of a hack as what you can do when you hang a gingerbread clock on the wall. And, uh, you know, when you hang a gingerbread clock on the wall and you go to wind it, you open the door up, you got to hang on to the clock because it's going to slide sideways and then it's going to throw the beat off. Let me show you a little something that might help you. All right, here we are. I hope you got your coffee. This is one of my favorite coffee cups right here. It's Annie Oakley. Uh, my daughter brought this back when she visited the Annie Oakley Museum over in, uh, in uh, Ohio. Uh, Annie Oakley was from uh, Dark County, Ohio, I believe, somewhere just across the Indiana state line, and they have a, somewhat of a museum over there, and this is where the coffee cup came from. All right, that's not what I wanted to really show you, but hold on a second, hold on. Pardon me while I get a sip. All right, this is, this is primarily what I want to show you. It'll take a second. Take yourself a business card. This happens to be our old band, the Stony Ridge Band right there. Uh, we're not playing together right now, but it uh, was the world's greatest band. And uh, you take yourself a business card like this, okay? I, uh, since I've got a little gold paint laying around, I took my business card and I painted it gold right there. See that? Pretty. All right. Now what you do is use some silicone rubber, 100% silicone rubber. Not Elmer's glue, not super glue, use silicone rubber. And I'll tell you why. Other glues are brittle when they, when they uh, dry out. Um, super glue does not adhere to wood very well. Super glue and wood, doesn't, that doesn't go together. Uh, carpenter's glue or Elmer's glue does, but it's a hard glue, and uh, through the years it could uh, break loose or whatever. Silicone rubber, you can move it around. You can take your, say if you had this glued on something with silicone rubber, you could go like this. It has a, it has a, a, a elasticity to it. Well, anyway, you take your business card, put a couple little dabs of silicone rubber on there. Okay, you let that dry on the back of your clock. You can do this while the clock is hanging on the wall if you're neat and you don't get the silicone rubber all the wall, on the wall. Then when that dries, you take a couple of pins like this here with clear heads and you, this will be under your clock. Now let me sh show you this application. Let me show you one of the clocks that I have hanging on the wall with this application on it. Okay, here's one of my OG clocks. It's an old Waterbury from probably about 1850s to 1860. As you can see, that I've painted that card gold. It's underneath this clock. It's pretty inconspicuous. And I've got those two pins on there. Now, this is what I like about it. When I go to wind it, I can open this clock up. And it doesn't slide sideways on the wall. You see that? Open the clock up. Pretty stationary on the wall. Otherwise, I would have to hang on to the clock, wind it, and then if it slid a little ways, one way or the other, then the beat would be off. Now here's an old Waterbury clock hanging on the wall here. And uh, it's a funny thing about this clock. If you open it up and wind it and just get it off center a little bit, it'll stop on you because it'll, it'll throw the beat off on the clock. So you gotta listen to it and and uh, make sure it's ticking right before you close the door if you want to run this clock. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you a before and after. Uh, I don't know if you can see, it's dark under here. If I had the flash, I'll hold on a second. Hold, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Got this uh, little trouble light right here. Bought this at Bailey's for $2.99 out in Judson, North Judson, Indiana. You're always finding stuff. Look at that, man. I've had this thing for a while. All right, we're looking under the clock. See that? We're looking under the clock, Jerry. 
All right, I'm gonna put that right there. All right, I'm back. Now, this is how you would wanna get this card ready. You see the three little dabs of silica, clear silicone rubber on there? Here's the bottom of our clock in question. Now, this is a uh, gingerbread or, a, or a, a kitchen clock or whatever you wanna call it. So this could stay on even if you put it on a shelf. So this is what you do, kind of hang on to the clock. Slide it up under the clock there. I can't see, so I'm gonna run and get my light. I'll be right back, don't go nowhere. Get yourself some coffee. I'm back. All right, you kind of run it up there about the center ways in the clock, like that. Okay. And uh, you can go ahead and put your pins in now. And that should do it. you look at it. Just hang on. All right, got that uh, fancy part installed. Let's see if we can see it. There. See how easy that is? Now once that dries, I'm going to slide it up there a little more because I don't like the way that uh, silicone rubber is coming out of there. But uh, that will dry on the clock. And if you ever want to remove it from the clock, you can clean that right off. That's the good thing about silicone rubber. You can you can get that right off of there. But that will dry on the clock. And when that's dry, I can open that door and I don't have to worry about it uh, to sliding one way or the other and throwing the bead off. All right, that concludes my uh, video of my little hack I did with the business cards. You could also put a bracket on the bottom or side of that clock and do the same thing. This clock you see behind me here, this wall clock, has a bracket on it right here. Uh, but it's hanging on cement, so I don't need to use the bracket. But that's another one. If you opened it up, it would slide sideways, and then the beat would be off. I uh, hope while you're watching this, you're enjoying your coffee. And, uh, oh, I wanted to mention one thing. A guy from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, Joe Petoskey, uh, he wrote me a request. I was showing a clock, and he just said, hey, why don't you take that clock and stick it where the sun don't shine? So I thought about it and I moved it out of the window, you know, so that's taken care of. Well, I hope everybody has a good day. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Bye now.